Welcome back. Today is day 17. Here in the Depression series, Breaking the Strongholds of the Enemy off of your life. And friends were so excited about it because today the Lord has just kind of led us to, to finalize some things, to close out some things. And so um, today we're going to just spend the day in prayer. We're going to be praying for you and praying that, the, that God would just close up those open wounds, close up those places in which you've been hurting, those things that you've been dealing with, that God would close them out and that everything would be completed. And then, friends, we're just going to continue on from there. And, you know, God has already spoke throughout this series. And I believe if we continue to just do more and more on it, that we would end up being repetitive. And so we're going to spend these next couple of days just in prayer. We're going to close out this series with prayer mm -hmm. because I know that God is speaking and that there are some things and some issues on your heart that you just need some prayer for. And friends, I know there are some things that may be too big for you to handle, but some things only come by prayer and fasting. And friends, we have been in prayer and we have been fasting on your behalf. So if there are any prayer requests or prayer concerns that you have, Feel free to send those to us at 21 days of encouragement at gmail.com. Feel free to send them to us on Facebook. We do have the 21 days of encouragement page on Facebook. You can inbox us and send us whatever it is you may be dealing with, and we will pray for you. We'll be praying here on screen. We'll be praying for you in, in whatever else that you may have going on in your life. And so, friends, we're going to close out this series in prayer because God has already spoken. And now is the time for us to just finalize it. Just as the doctor who does surgery and he goes up and he's doing the final stitches and making everything look good again. That's what we want to do for you today, friends. That's what we want to spend the rest of this week doing. So we're going to spend this week in prayer, these last few days in prayer. Baby, is there anything you have to say before we start the prayer? Well, I believe that everything you said is on point. Um, stitching, doing the final stitches. And I even saw uh, cleansing the wounds and, and sterilizing. Uh, after the surgeon uh, stitches up the wounds, he makes sure that the area is clean where there have, may have been uh, leakage of blood and fluids. God is cleansing those open wounds. He's closing those open wounds and he's going to nurse those wounds back to health, back to restoration, back to its original state, and even better in this time and place. Don't don't get discouraged if you feel like your healing has not immediately came, because like James has said already, the enemy will try to attack you and make you believe the symptoms. Do not believe the symptoms. Don't believe the hype of the enemy. God has done it, and if you believe, yes. and if yes. you walk in it, you know, some people, like the lepers, you know, he told them as they walked, they would be healed. Some yes. people have an instantaneous healing and some people have to walk in their healing. And God said we walk by faith and not by sight. So today and from now on uh, into your future, walk in your healing. Walk in that thing, you know, and God will continue to speak to your heart. And I believe that there's some people that are watching that are dealing with high blood pressure. I believe there's some people that's dealing with diabetes and you say, I don't want to deal with this thing anymore. This thing has been generational in my family. And I believe that the prayer that I prayed, the prayer that you guys prayed for me is happening. I believe I'm walking by faith and I'm going to put those pills down one day at a time to where I'm going to wean myself off of those pills. Or maybe you just have that kind of faith where you're just going to stop cold turkey and you believe that God is going to continue to move in your heart and move in your life. I'm standing here. We're standing here in agreement, believing God for your healing. We have already believed God for your healing. Now you have to step out on faith and walk this thing out. And as God stitches up the wounds, as he cleanses them, as he purifies them and brings them back to their original state, we know that God will be pleased and he has answered your prayer. Yes, friends. And just as Kristen has said, 
I hear the Lord saying, there are some of you who will receive instruction and direction mm -hmm. on where to go, what to do from here, because there are some people just like the man who had to go wash his eyes in the pool of Shalom. And then once he washed, he began to see. And so there are some people who God will speak into your life and give you directions. Do as the Lord commands you to do and walk in your healing. And so, friends, we're just going to spend a few minutes in prayer. And baby, if you'll start us out and then I'll close it out. Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, yes, for God. another day to be encouraged, another day to yes. lift up your holy name, Father. We yes, just God. magnify you. Lord, we praise you. We lift you up, God. We thank you for every every encouragement member, every person that you have encouraged, yes. every watcher, every viewer, every listener. Yes, Father, God. we bless you for their lives. Yes. And Father God, we know that it is not any mistake that they are here. We know that they are watching for a reason, Father. Yes. So God, as you go into their hearts and as you cleanse their minds and cleanse their temples, Father, as you do the final touches, the final works, Father, God, increase their faith, God, yes. increase their boldness, let them walk in the authority that you have given them, yes, that God. they shall be healed. Hallelujah. That they shall not, they shall receive if they faint not. Yes. Father God, you were wounded for our transgressions. Yes. You were bruised for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. And the chastisement of our peace yes, was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Everyone watching, everyone that's tuned in listening is healed, Father. Yes. Because of your blood, because of your stripes, because of your wounds. Father, you said it and we stand on that word now, mm -hmm. Father. You said your word will not return unto you void. So, yes. Father, we stand on it now saying that we are healed. Father, we know our body is saying one thing differently, but you are saying something totally, totally, totally different. And what yes. you are saying is true, Father. Yes. So, as our bodies try to go the other way and your word is right here, Father, we believe it and we stand on it. We take it. We grab it. We hold on to it now, Father. I decree and I declare that the healing has taken place. I decree and I declare as, as your daughter takes her first steps, Father, as she walks all out on faith, God, as she turns away from what man is saying and she leans on what you are saying, as she walks, Father, I believe, Father, I decree that she is healed every yes, step God. that she makes. Healing is taking place in her body. Every step that she takes, every breath that she takes, Father, she is being healed. Hallelujah. In every area of her life. Father, I thank you for your son, God, that is doubting what's going on right now. He's in a war in his mind, Lord, wondering. Should I believe what they're saying? Should I should I believe the hype? I know, God, you want to heal me, but these people are saying this, and, and they told me this, and they told me that I would have it all of my life, and they told me that I would have cancer, and that cancer runs in my family, but God, you're saying that I don't have to live with this. You're saying that it's a generational curse. Father, I, I believe, I want to believe, but how can I, Father? Mm -hmm. But you know what, God? I'm going to step out now, Father God. I'm going to step out on faith, Father. Yes. God, nudge your son, push your son to believe in your word, yes. to receive your word like never before. I decree and declare as you step out, man of God, as you step out on faith and believe God and take him as his, at his word, that you will be healed in the name of Jesus. Your healing is here. It has come. Step out on it. Grab it. Keep it. Hold it and never let go of it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your yes, name, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Father. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. You're worthy, Father. Yes, we glorify you, Father. Yes. Father God, I decree a turnaround in every person's life that's mm. watching. Every person that turns on this on this video, every time, God, I decree and declare that it'll be a turnaround in their lives, yes, a turnaround in their marriage, a turnaround in their ministry, a turnaround in, in every area of their life, Father. I decree a turnaround just because they click the play button, Father, just because they tune in, you will begin to turn it around, Father. Yes. And everything that they lost that the devil has stolen from them father i decree and declare that it return back to unto them a hundredfold father in the name of jesus 
all the treasures of life that have been taken away from them, Father, as the generational curses have been broken, Father. I decree it that everything be returned back unto them. Hallelujah. The enemy, hallelujah's time is up, Father. It has been up. And you said that you have went down to the pits of hell and taken out the keys of death yes, and God. hell yes, and God. from the grave, Father. So as the gates of hell are wide open, Father, we walk in now when we take back everything that belongs to the people of God. We walk in now and we pull it out. We pluck it out. We take it out. We dig it out. We release the the enemy's hold off of everything that belongs to the people of God right now in the name of Jesus. Loose it now in the name of Jesus. We deliver it now in the name of Jesus. We call it forth now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That it will take place. That blessings will fall in the houses of these people. That healing will fall in the houses of these people like never before. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, God, we thank you for your power and your presence. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for the power to overcome. Hallelujah. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Father God, we come now, O Lord, saying thank you, O God. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for the family, Father God, who has been watching this series, Father God, together, Father God, for the one, Father God, who had the boldness to step out, Father God, and to invite, Father God, the rest of her family to come and watch this series with her, oh God. Father God, for the one, Father God, who stepped out and said, hey, this will make a difference in our lives, Father. I pray right now, Father God, that you would move right now, oh God. I know that you've already been healing, Father God. I know that you've already, Father God, been doing things in their life, Father God. You've already been doing things on their behalf. But Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would begin to have your way, oh God. That you would move especially for them, oh God. That you would move mightily upon them, oh God. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, O oh God, that there would be a great manifestation of your power, O oh Lord. Father, it is in the name of Jesus, Father God, that I call down blessings, O oh God. It's in the name of Jesus I call down healing, O oh God. It's in the name of Jesus, O oh God, that I call down your power, O oh God, to fall fresh upon them, O oh God. And Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you would begin to do a new thing, Father God. Father, as Kristen said, Father God, begin to turn around, O oh God. Father God, like never before, Father God, like never before, do it for them now, O oh God. Heal their minds, O oh God. Heal their bodies, O oh God. Heal their spirits, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. I pray right now, O oh God, that you would begin to just even financially move in their life, O oh God. That they will see your hand upon them, O oh God. Because they had the boldness to step out and say, this will make a difference yes, in yes, my Lord. life. Hallelujah. This will make a difference in my family's yes, life. Jesus. We do not have to live with this. Yes, I'm tired Hallelujah. of dealing with this. Father, Hallelujah. I thank you for them now. Yes, and Father, Lord. I declare and I decree, Father, that you shall do yes, it. I declare and I decree, oh God, that it is done, Father, it's in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. Even now, as you begin to feel the Spirit of God moving all over you, receive his power, receive his anointing, receive the blessings of God as he overflows within you, as he overtakes you. Ah, receive it now. For God is yet moving on your behalf. Yes, Lord. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, have your way, O oh God. Ah, uh, Father God, even Father God, for the one who stepped out, O oh God, I see you doing something uh, miraculous for her son, even now, O oh God. 
Father, I don't know the situation. I don't know what she's dealing with, Father God. But whatever, Father God, her child is dealing with, oh God, I see you moving mountains out of the way now, oh God. I see you speaking into her life, into the child's life, oh God. I see you speaking mightily into that family, oh God, doing some things, Father God, that they know that no one else but God could have done, oh God. Father, I see the miraculous happening for them now, simply because I stepped out on yes, your Jesus. word, oh yes, God. Jesus. They stepped out and trusted you, oh yes, God. Jesus. Ah, Father Thank God, because they trusted this ministry, Father God, and the word coming from this ministry, oh God, you said that you will do the impossible in their yes, life, Lord. oh God. Hey, God, right now, when they will begin to see the possibility, Father God, of the impossible yes. happening in their life, oh God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. We glorify you. We glorify you now, Father. We praise you now, Father. Yes, Lord. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. And I declare and I decree that it is done. And it is so. Amen. And amen. Friends, this has been day 17 of the 21 Days of Encouragement, the Depression Series, Breaking the Strongholds of the Enemy off of your life. And they have been broken. And these things that have bothered you and bothered your family, you shall never see them again. They will never bother you again. They will never return unto you. They shall not transfer into another in your family. Because it stops now in the name of Jesus. We love you, friends. You be blessed. Shame.